Hello, hello. Hi, Brenda, Linda, Jean. Goodness. I was almost late to my own live stream. <laughs> I have a few more cuts to do. Jean, I'm sorry I wasn't able to make it to your live stream. I apologize. It's just been crazy, but I will get there. Okay, hopefully my sound is okay. I had my volume up on my computer. I just turned it off. So that should be all set. All my other devices are taken care of. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Adam. Oh, of course I'm misbehaving. <laughs> oh, Adam, those bags you just posted, I think I want one of those, but will they sell right out? Will I be able to get there? Beverly, my day has been good, but busy. Like, just busy. Hi, Celeste. Hi, Lisa. All right, we have moderators in the house. Thank you to my moderators. Thank you to everyone for showing up. Uh, you probably saw the block. It's called the economy block. And it's fairly simple and straightforward. And uh, my idea with this quilt along has been a beginner, a very beginner friendly sampler. Uh, hi Marcella, Rowena, Terry. Goodness, my moderators are showing up all at once. Hi everyone. Ooh, Winnipeg. Okay, I'm going to chit chat while I finish cutting my fabrics. I don't know if everyone has theirs cut or if some possibly are just going to hang out and chat, which is absolutely fine with me. Thank you, Terry. I almost cut that an inch too short. That would not have been good. Yeah, we had a, a shopping day, so there was that to do. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I used to like to shop, but now I'm not so crazy about it. So. Hi, Lulu from Wyoming. Ingrid, hello. Yes, I will. I even know which one I want, Adam. Thank you so much. I was going to. I thought, should I ask? Because I don't know if that's special privilege, but I already have one that I want. And you take PayPal or Venmo, I would assume. Hi, Deborah. Uh-oh, do you mean you get the happy dance? Is this your first time? Because it's like a chair. It's a really pathetic happy dance, but it's become a real thing here. So let's see. I go... Because we're excited. We're glad to have you, Deborah. Hi, Shirley. Shirley's probably in her sewing room. And that sewing needle's probably tip-tapping away there. Okay, I need to make sure. I keep walking away here. I need to make sure that I have everything correct. And... I realized I have an issue because normally I have my computer over here and I can kind of swing the camera down to look at the tabletop when I do cuts, but we're going to have to, yeah, we'll figure it out. It's not a difficult block, so. Hi, Dolores. Good to have you here. Wow, you guys, I don't have any issues with my camera this time. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'm going to give it a few more minutes. It's only 5.03. i go grab some more water for my iron.
I would have done this beforehand, huh? <laughs> All right, so everybody just let me know whether you're watching or sewing. I'm just wondering how many are sewing along and it's no big deal either way. You are allowed to stay even if you're chatting because we love to chat. That's what live streams are all about, is chatting. Hi, Vicki. Oh, Lisa, yeah, wild woman. Maybe back in my day, but not now. <laughs> Adam, I know, right? It says it's like 15 minutes or however long it is. But I swear it isn't because every time I get doing something, that stupid iron is beeping. Peggy says, hi from Charleston, South Carolina, where it is winter today, but spring is coming again tomorrow. Well, welcome, Peggy. Well, we got almost a foot of snow yesterday, so. <laughs> uh, Shady Susan, setting up stream labs. Do you mind if I set up so my mods can put your link up in your YouTube? Not at all. Thank you for that. I, I know uh, some people who use a different one that's like that. You just like hit a key and it goes in. That stuff's way over my head, so I don't know how to do that. I apologize. Okay, Jean's multitasking. She's going to sew, watch, chat. She might giggle. Lisa is chatting. Dolores is working on a hanging dish towel. Wasn't here when Sew Along started, so you're just watching. That's good. Linda's watching and cooking supper. I thought it said watching and coloring when I glanced down. Okay, so let me see if I have everything out that I need. I had this light on over here, but it was like, it turned this whole corner white for you guys. So I shoved it off because I really, I don't have to have it. Okay, so. your way. Everyone can hear me okay, I assume? I'm a big mouth. <laughs> okay, so this is the economy block. So what we start with is a six and a half inch square in the center. But you have, uh, you have some choices here. Now I can write down, I will write it in the description box. It is not there right now. But you can make a block that looks like this and have it be right here. So it just keeps getting larger, okay? Hey, sweetheart, Amanda's here. I'm good, how are you? Good, good, oh, Mary, hi, Mary. Deborah's watching, I gotta catch up. Goodness. <laughs> okay, thank you, moderators. They're getting everyone's channels in there. You guys check out so many wonderful YouTubers out there and they all deserve our time all putting out some some beautiful videos lots of time okay what I mean is lots of time into the videos I didn't mean lots of times they're good they're always good oh, and I need to change my chat to live chat instead of the other way around Amanda's still kicking okay so let me get back to this all right so as I said, after we're done the live stream, I will put the measurements in here. I'll tell you them quickly. So if you wanted to make this a six and a half inch square that's made like this, you would start with a, th a three and a half inch square and two, three and one quarter and two, four and a quarter. But you probably want to add one quarter inch to those measurements, but again, I will list them below. You don't need to remember them. Now, this one is plain. As you see, it's, I mean, yeah, it's got a little bit of print to the fabric, but it's plain. You could use a piece of muslin and uh, cross stitch something or embroider something, or you could do what I'm going to do with this next one which is you could fussy cut something that you want. 
So there's a lot of ways you could go with this. You can make the one that looks like this right inside there. You can fussy cut, you can leave it plain for stitching. You know, maybe you wanna leave it plain and show off some decorative hand quilting or machine stitching there. Okay, so we're gonna get at it. It's not a difficult block, but as I said in the post I made, I find it better to use spray starch sizing or best press first. You want, you're going to be cutting diagonally and if you're not careful and if you get too vigorous with your iron or just pulling or tugging it will not stay in shape things will not match up and you will not be happy okay so what I normally do is okay this is what seven seven and a half so I generally cut about an eight and a half inch square just a little bit larger than what I need I use I used sizing, which I will show you what it looks like just in case. I used sizing, and it just gives a little bit of firmness to your fabric so you can work with it. And as I said, on the diagonal, it, it wouldn't be as easy to stretch it out of shape. Let's see who's here. Hi, Norma Jean. It's been on your bucket list. Well, here, we're, we're working at it. <laughs> We're doing it. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you. Amanda really likes the block. Oh, Kathy made it. Hello, Kathy. Good to see you here. Hey, Mona did what? You knew I had to, right? Mona has agreed to, to uh, do a video with me. We're going to schedule that just like Adam and I had done. Just never know what's going to happen. And I have one lady that messaged me. I just read the email this morning because I'm so far behind. But she wants to do like a little interview thing with me. And um, yeah, so that's going to be fun. Okay, so I will tell you as I go what I'm going to do. But right now I'm going to touch my iron because if I don't, it's going to beep at me. And I don't want it to beep at me. Right now, if you have everything cut, you should have two blocks that are five and three quarter. Now, technically five and a half per the pattern, but we're going to give ourselves a quarter inch and we're going to trim it down so it's not going to matter. All right, so you have two blocks that are five and three quarter. We're going to use our ruler. I'll get a smaller one here. I apologize, I usually have my camera on the side. Okay, we're going to use our ruler and hold one corner to the other right exactly, and we're going to cut it with our rotary cutter. Okay, we're going to do that to both five and three quarter inch blocks and both seven and a half inch blocks. Don't cut your six and a half inch block. That's your center. Okay, so I'm going to cut these so we can get started. And I'm sure you guys are busy in the chat section, but I will let you chat because if I chat, I won't cut and sew because I know me. I know how that works. I tried to clean up my mess today, guys, but you know, you can't be creative and clean at the same time. That's just asking too much. Make sure your diagonal cuts that you just handle that fabric carefully. You don't want to stretch it out of shape. I thought about getting my mini iron out because I have used it before for live streams, but I don't find it very helpful. It doesn't get hot enough. Mine won't cold water. The water just kind of pours out of it when it wants to. 
and not usually on the fabric. I have cut my squares. Hi, Glenda. Oh, I gotta scroll back up and see who we have here. Let's see. Are you going to test us on this? I didn't have my Wheaties or my coffee. Well, I haven't had coffee my whole life, so you're ahead of me, Terry. <laughs> Glenda, we're glad you like it. We always have fun, don't we? <laughs> Hi, Denise. Good to see you. Okay, Adam, you take care. Have a great night. We know it's late where you are. We know. Okay. That black fabric, Glenda, oh my land, yes. I was showing it during one of the What's Up Wednesdays, I think a couple weeks ago. I got it at Marden's. It is gorgeous, isn't it? I love, love, love this fabric. Because I like Paisley's anyway, but I hope it's showing across the screen as beautiful as what it is, because it's gorgeous. But I got it at our local Marden's. Um, I'll see if I can find, I don't know if there is the manufacturer's label because I don't know there isn't I only bought a half a yard and there's nothing there's no name but the next time I go to Martin's I will look and see if I can find out for you how's that because usually there's at least part of the name or the manufacturer or something mm, let's see Oh, Adam says he's not sleeping. Much too much interesting stuff going on. Well, of course. <laughs> Rowena, it is it is beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. Okay, so I have both of my seven and a half inch black squares cut diagonally. I have both of my five and three quarter inch lavender cut diagonally, and I have my six and a half inch square. I'm going to move this one here because otherwise this would not go well. So for anyone who may be coming in late or may have missed it, this is the block we are making today. Okay. There isn't a salvage edge on it, Terry. No, it's it was from Arden's. <laughs> and the bad thing is people will say, do they have a an online? Well, they have a website, but you can't buy anything from it. It's one of those in-store deals only. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my center square. I'm folding it in half, exactly, precisely in half, and I'm going to take the tip of the iron and mark the center. And yes, I know I could do it with my fingernail, but that will slightly stretch, maybe not on the straight one, but we're going to do the same thing on the diagonal, so I don't want to make bad habits. Then fold it the other way, and again, mark and I did this with the front sides facing or pretty sides touching if you know what youtuber says pretty sides touching so basically what I have you probably can't see them very well but I have little just little lines there okay that mark my center now you don't want any steam no steam steam is not your friend now we're going to go wrong sides together. I mean, I know technically it doesn't matter, but we're folding this in half. You're folding the long edge without stretching or pulling. Just give it a little mark. You're going to do this with all of your triangles. 
You just need the mark so you'll know where the center is and it just takes a moment. And it helps. You can use pins. You could certainly pin this, but pins are less precise. And when you want everything to line up, it's better sometimes to do it that way. Okay, and then I'm going to go opposite with these and put right sides together. Because I went right sides together, wrong sides together, right sides together. And again, I'm just making a little, a little line. And we will press that out when we're done. Nobody will ever know. It's coming up on a year, you guys. My channel's almost a year old. It'll be a year old in February. I gotta see what their questions are. Let's see. Terry says, Marie, I have you on a laptop and the big screen, and even I'm confused. Look up, look down. <laughs> I have my tablet and this going, so. The blue marble looking fabric. This one here is lavender. It's a paisley that I bought at Martin's. And I've been putting one piece in each quilt block that I've made for one of the quilts, because it with the quilts along, I've made two of it every block, except for one I need to catch up on. Um, Glenda, I'll see if Martin's has any more. I could probably, I mean, I'd have to mail it to you, but if they had some, we could probably work something out. But probably what would be easiest is for me to go there and find out the manufacturer and the name of the fabric and then to let you guys know. I'm going to write down, so Glenda, is there anyone else who wants me to let them know? Um, because I might be there on Monday, I'm not positive yet. Thank you, Amanda. The one in the finished block. That was a fat quarter that I just threw the tag away to, let me see. This one here. I bought that at Martin's. It was a fat quarter, and I wish I would have bought more than one because it is gorgeous. Do you have me looking through my trash for a tag? You do. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's any identifying information. It just says MDG and then MDG fat quarter. It doesn't say anything there. Um, where do I put the rest of it? I'll see if there's a salvage on it. I don't think there is, though. Nope, there is not, unfortunately. It's gorgeous. I have hesitated to cut into it. I'm going to go back up. Hi, Elena. Good to see you. No, Adam, you're not weird. Five years ago, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had Paisley either. I didn't like it. It's just like I didn't like batiks, but now all of a sudden, I like about half of all the batiks I see. There's still some I don't like. <laughs> okay, Rowena wants to know about the black fabric if I find it. Avalee, hi, you missed the first of this. I'll watch it later on. My husband has chemo on Friday and without getting to watch you, I would go crazy. Well, aren't you sweet? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry about all that you and your husband are going through, but it's tough, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Kathy, very pretty blue paisley. Denise, the black fabric. Garbage picking. Yes, I was, Terry. I had to pull fa uh, fabric, yeah, thread off it. <laughs> okay, I gotta scroll really quick so I can get back. Deborah says, it's so nice listening. You're very good at explaining. Thank you. 
the black fabric is is beautiful hi carol hello hello elena i was looking for the uh salvage edge so that i could find the name of the fabric this this one here the manufacturer all right i have one more of these to do we're going to start sewing well some of us will sew and some of us will chop i better set that on the table and not there okay so you're going to take your smaller triangles This is odd for me. Sorry guys, this is a bad angle for me. I should have thought about this and moved the. All right, so you're gonna take your mark and line it up with a mark here. All right, right in the center. I'm going to have to lay this down to pin it, but I'll come back and show you. So just line that up in the center and pin it across. And I also, when I make quilt blocks, I like to use leaders and enders. You don't have to, but I have less issues when I do. So I'll just tell you that's what I do. You can do whatever makes you comfortable. And I also like to use a lot of pins, especially on the bias. And we have these cut diagonally, so we have to be careful. Don't tug, don't stretch or pull these at all. Uh, let's see. Like the confusion of Paisley, it reflects my life. Adam, if it's worth the shipping, Missouri Star Quilt Company has one of my free spirit. 40%? Oh, no kidding! I didn't know that. Dolores, I ended up with a fat quarter bundle of batiks and I have no idea what to do with them. Can you mix them with regular cotton? Sure. Yeah, I don't see why not. I have. I don't know if there's any rule, but I have. You wish Oklahoma had Mardens. Well, and Adam doesn't get paid in time. Hi, Honor. Hello, hello. It is our honor to have you here. Hey, I thought of that one on my own. All right. So the second one I'm going to do is just opposite, like this. So match up your center piece, your center marks from the iron, your little lines. Make sure that your edges are even, your fabrics are exactly even. And as far as stitch length, because I know someone will usually ask me, you could use it two millimeter. I generally tend to use 2.5 millimeter. I don't know. That's just me. Whichever one you fancy, you can do. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go sew on the sides using a quarter inch seam allowance. What don't you have in Illinois? Oh, Martins? Yeah, it's only in Maine. Only in the state of Maine. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I do have a piece of a liter. I have a liter. <laughs> Not a liter of soda either. All right. Some of our people from our strip, the Australia might show up since it's early morning for them. Maybe. Maybe we will be graced with their presence. I guess I could have gone over and sewn on my new machine. Well, they're both new machines. I'm not sure how I mean that, but on my semi-industrial. I've had a few people ask me, and I want, I'm want i trying to clear it up, so I'm going to keep repeating it, because I have been asked if now that I have the semi-industrial, if I'm going to be sewing things that people with a regular home machine could not do, and no, I will not. Uh, it has always been my intention that at some point I will be 
doing some videos featuring patterns that are paid patterns. They're not all going to be free. And that has always been my intention from the start. I won't do them every week. You know, it's going to be more of a, just a casual thing. We have one coming up that's Adam's pattern and his is a paid pattern. It's not expensive, but it's, it's paid pattern. I use a lot of pins when I sew on the bias so that I had five pins going across there. Okay. Hello, Peggy from Newfoundland, Canada. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to catch up and weed through. Why, why, why did you mention Tula Fabric? Well, yeah, right now I'm going to have to go look. We should all take a bus to Marie's. She'd love to have us. Does that mean I have to brew coffee? <laughs> Where's everybody going to fit in here? Where? <laughs> You can come. All right. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> uh, Road trip. Road trip. All right. Let's see. The difference between starch and sizing, I can tell you what it is to me, Dolores. Coffee and peanut butter and jelly. We can do that. Okay. Uh, size, okay, starch goes on and I know a lot of you know like from ironing shirts, if you want a really stiff collar, you're going to use starch. Uh, you have to do it like in layers. You put a, a, a light spray and you iron, a light spray and you iron until you build up the amount of starch you would want to hold a collar firmly or anything else. And you can get that fabric quite stiff. Now you can kind of do the same thing with sizing. But this is the way I like to explain it. You know when you buy fabric fresh off the bolt, how it feels? It has a little bit of a firmness to it. And then when you wash it, it softens all up. This makes it feel like it did when you first purchased it. It gives it a, a little bit of body, okay? And I can't speak for best press. I know you didn't ask that, but I did put that in my description. I am going to try best press. But I have had a couple of people say they really couldn't tell the difference between sizing and best press. Now, I don't know. It's hard to have an opinion when I haven't tried. But that's the best I've got, Dolores. Uh, I prefer sizing because starch tends to flake and leave white, little white flakes. Um, but for anyone who's not familiar with this, I did a video, an ironing video, really early on, almost a year ago. <laughs> And I talked about how to use it. You don't spray and just chuck your iron on top of the fabric. You've got to lightly spray and then wait three, four, five seconds and then put your iron down. If you do it too quickly, your iron will just stick to the fabric and you'll have to peel the fabric off the iron. So you don't want to do that. That's not good. Let's see. Adam's talking about shipping being expensive. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to go over to the iron. I'm going to open these seams and I'm going to carefully press these. I don't want to get them out of shape. And I am going to open my seams. You may press them to one side. It's uh, your choice. So instead of pushing the iron out, I would just say to hold your piece and just lay your iron across. You know what I did? I got my paisley on backwards. <laughs> I 
I have the wrong side of the fabric showing. So I, it's not terrible. It's almost like a petite. So I'm just going to put the other ones on like that because I'm not getting the seam ripper out during a live stream. So what I normally do, and I'm probably just weird, but I press it and I let the seam go whichever way it wants to and then I open it and press it. starch marks like when the pan of rice boils over ask me how I know best press is fab but it does cause more fabric shrinking than sizing I've heard of that um I've never tried it I do have it on my to buy list I'm going to try it you press before cutting yeah hmm. interesting I like to use my clapper. For a nice seam. And before I'm done my block, I always use sizing on the back. Always. It I like everything to lie flat and I think that that helps it. Alright, so this is what you should have at this point. You have little dog ears or wherever that whatever that you want to call them. Alright, let me catch up. <laughs> Jean makes her own. Mix it with water to make your own. Use terial. I've never heard of that. Hmm. <laughs> Terry says, Adam, you're sewing too closely to the stove if your rice starch is messing up your fabric. <laughs> Peggy McMichael, hello. Are you in Maine? I am up in Aroostook County. Hi, Richard. Good to see you. Yeah, that's fine. You watch whenever. That's fine. Yep, yeah, from the beginning. Absolutely. Thanks for dropping in and letting us know you were here, though. We will, I guess I'll see you later and I won't even know. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do, you don't have to cut these off, but I'm going to place my ruler across the straightaway and I'm going to cut these off. All right. I can't believe that I got talking and I sewed my fabric on the wrong way. Can you tell? I, I really can't tell much of a difference with this paisley. It's almost the same on both sides. I'll just blame Adam or Terry for that. Because you know one of them caused that, right? And these are the... the uh, five and three quarter inch and seven and a half inch are cut one quarter inch larger so that if you mess up in any way you've got that little bit of leeway and can fix it so this is what you should have all right now we're going to take the other two and i guess i'm going to put them on backwards <laughs> I gotta get my little mark there again. I just ironed it out of my center block now, didn't I? I guess a pin would have worked. All right. Line up your center pieces. said I like to use about five pins per side just to make sure everything stays where it should. And after these two pieces are put on there we're going to trim it because at that point it's going to be larger because as I said we we cut them 
a quarter inch larger, the squares. So yes, it gives you one eighth of an inch uh, difference there. And this would be a good project to use scraps with, like um, I was thinking, just a second, I'll pin and I'll show you. I pinned myself earlier when I was making that other block. But I figure if I don't bleed on every quilt block, it's not really homemade. <laughs> uh, oh goodness, I was just going to say something and I forgot. Because I talked in between there. That's my memory. <laughs> Kathy says, I use Dollar General Fresh Scent Heavy Spray Starch Professional Finish. I've never had any flaking. Yeah, that generally usually happens when people use it too thickly, but, you know. Oh, Deborah, you're in Portland near Sugarloaf. Yeah, well, I was born in Augusta, and my mom, and I have two, three siblings in Augusta. Adam, I always blame you. You know this. You know this. But at least you're accepting. <laughs> uh, let's see. Peggy says, I'm in Newfoundland, but used to live in Nova Scotia and came to shop in Bangor, Portland all the time, so I miss coming to Martin's for my fabric. Yeah. I understand. I'm trying to think of what I was going to say there. I don't know. I, I guess it, if it's important, it will come back to me. <laughs> Blood drops are DNA evidence in case someone steals your beautiful quilt. I like that, Celeste. I like that. I hadn't thought about that. I figured it, it was kind of like, you know, you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into, into your stuff. But I, I like yours better. Yeah, Peggy, so you used to uh, visit Martin's. Yeah, I'm way up north. I'm, I'm two hours, almost three hours north of Bangor, so. Hello, Lucy. Good to see you. It's Sherlock Sows. Oh, goodness, everyone. The gang's all here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sew these two pieces. And try to remember what in the world I was trying to think of to tell you guys. I don't remember. See, if I have to say something, I need to spit it out immediately because... If not, it's just gone. How many of you remember, like my mom used to do it. My dad was a chef, so his whites, his, his uniform, they call them whites. Uh, they had to be starched. So my mom used to use that liquid starch that goes in the washing machine. I remember that. I'm surprised. You know, I've had these snips for, I think, over a year now, and they're just starting to get sticky. I think I want to get those Tula snips, but they come in two different sizes. So if anyone, I don't know if Adam's still here or not, but he might. Yeah, you got to let Adam know that Sugarloaf is a ski resort, right? Or a, yes, a ski area. No donuts there. Well, there might be donuts, but there's mostly... Mostly skiing, which I don't do. I would break my leg, I know it. Goodness, I can't get that seam to lay down. I guess I pinned it closed. Can't have that. All right, so I have three, three people, Glenda, Rowena and Denise who want to know about that black fabric. So if there's anyone else you need to let me know so I can write that down. Uh, 
because they probably have some. But I'll tell you, it's either 96 or 108 wide. I think it's 108 wide, which is why I bought a half yard of it because that's a lot of fabric. I mean, I just needed different colors. I wanted to have some for linings of uh, bags and things like that. All right, and again, I'm going to sew this, sew this. Yeah, I'm going to iron it open. And I'll show you what the back looks like here in just a moment. I'm so frustrated that I sewed that backwards. <laughs> oh, what can I do? <laughs> and this is at the point where I usually put a little bit of sizing on it. I usually just kind of spray the seams, but of course it goes everywhere. You can't help it. I always cool it off so it doesn't go ch. <laughs> And we're going to trim it up. Nice hot iron. Oh, just bent my other seam back. seams on my quilt blocks. Alright, so this is what I have right now. You'll see that I still have some little dog ears. We could call them cat ears too. And this is what the back looks like. Yes, Lisa, you, I went back to, I didn't know you could put liquid starch in the washer. Yep. Adam, does it have donuts? Goodness. Richard said, Lorraine's Fabric in Pawtucket, Rhode Island used to have discounted fabric on the second floor, but they put office space there and just have the more expensive fabrics on the first floor. Elena says, donuts are everywhere, Adam. Uh, Mona, I use the concentrate in the bottle, stay flow. That's the brand my mom used to buy. Okay, I get the ones without the hook end, the standard snips. Thank you. But do they come in two lengths, Adam? It seems to me I saw two different ones and I didn't know which one and I meant to message you and ask you. Because then I can blame you if I buy it. <laughs> Richard says, I buy most of my fabric at Walmart. I buy that a lot there too. It depends. There's some things there. Well, there used to be some things there that I definitely wouldn't buy, but I have. And last week, I found this at Walmart, which was a pretty good deal, I thought, for two yards. knock my stack over or half over. I like looking at their fat quarters and seeing what they have because I'll be like, oh, it's only a dollar. It's only a dollar. <laughs> uh, Adam says, I make fake Krispy Kremes. I had to stop making them though as Darren and I would eat 24 between us in like two days. Okay. <laughs> I uh, Krispy Kremes are fabulous. I used liquid starch today. I starched a crocheted snowflake and blocked it with quilt pins. The starch is light bluish in color. Yep. Yep. 
Oh, Deborah, Martin's prices are unreal, aren't they? It's just everything was on sale a couple weeks ago. Well, not everything, but there was a whole section for $1.99. But my pain was so bad when I went in there, I couldn't look through it. I just couldn't do it. Glenda says, Marie, I want you to know I thank you so much for the My Fabric addiction my fabric addiction one scraps i love kimberly i was just chatting with her today and told her oh and to those of you who may have been here on wednesday when we couldn't find the batik scrap bag on her site i found it she said they might have been out for a few minutes so it might have bumped it off i guess or something like that but they're back they have them today um but you are welcome glenda i'm glad you like that I love those scrappy strips. Like I use those all the time. Thank you, Sherlock. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, Deborah says, love the block. Got to go make supper, as I call it. That's what I call it here too. You have a good night, Deborah. Thank you for dropping in. That's okay. That's okay. iPads, you know, all that, that's fine. And Crystal, hello. She says, I have a lot of that fabric left from craftsy clothes. Oh, I never would have thought about that. Yeah. Denise says, Mom used a bluing solution to soak some of her clothes. She would use starch on Dad's work clothes, the original style Dickies from the 50s and 60s. Yeah. Dolores asks if any of us buy fabric from So Yeah. They have name brand fabric, Moda, Riley Blake for D Stash now on Saturday nights for $6 a yard. I have never done that. What's their shipping like or anything? I've never gone on there. I've heard of it, but yeah. Ah, here we go. Richard siding with Adam. They're talking donuts. <laughs> jelly rolls mean different things to quilters and bakers, but if you eat too many jelly rolls, you will get jelly rolls around the middle. So there's, there's three kinds then, isn't there? <laughs> Uh, Glenda says the 108 wide would be great. I would love several yards of that. Oh, it is. It's gorgeous. And usually, not always, but usually when Martins gets fabric in like that, they usually have more than one bolt. So, yeah. Hi, Lynn. Yay. Caught alive at last. UK is 1050 p.m. Yeah, that's, we've got Adam here too. So you guys are in both the same time zone. So you get... The happy dance. We're glad to have you here. Thank you for dropping in. Lisa says that she put the eldest so yeah grandchild through college. <laughs> Kathy loves fabric addiction. She loves the quality. She will do her best to accommodate your request. She certainly will. Okay, so yeah, this must be the shipping. Buy five items free shipping. Otherwise, five dollar shipping. Wow. $5 flat rate shipping if you order five items. Yeah. Okay, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Crystal, Mrs. Martins, where did you live? I have to ask. You can be general. I'm not, you know. All right. So I'm going to cut my little doggy ears off this, and we're going to get back to the block. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I have to get out my pointer like a real teacher here. I, I'm the teacher. I was playing uh, school with my granddaughter last weekend and she told me I had to be Miss Marie, or Miss Mimi, because she calls me Mimi. Okay, right here, where you have this point come up. See where the black comes up to a point. All right, now because we cut these a quarter inch larger to give us a little bit of room, wiggle room, we're going to line up our quarter inch just past there so you're going to be trimming this but I say you want to do it a quarter inch but you're going to do a little just a smidgen it's not even an eighth of an inch it's probably a sixteenth of an inch over the quarter okay that we're going to go past this and we're going to cut it along here because our next seam is quarter inch so you don't want to you don't want it too close or that will clip off your corner, okay? You want your sewing line to come right along there. Just like this one did. You see how that point is? That's what we're going for. 
All right, so I'm going to trim this up, and if I remember correctly, it trims up at nine inches, but I will tell you in just a moment. Because inquiring minds want to know. And I had to use my 45 degree angle on my ruler going across just to make sure. Or you can even it from side to side. Like if you put the point right here, make sure the point on the other side is corresponding on your ruler. Oops, I guess I could show it where you could see it. Like if you line it up here with this 11 inch mark, make sure that it's at the 11 inch mark for the point on the other side. I don't know where Bryant Pond is, sorry. Sorry, hi, oh goodness, Kelly is here. She's not on a cruise, is she? <laughs> oh, goodness, it's good to see you pop in. Been working hard, been working off and on all day. Okay. Hi, Jeanette, good to see you, goodness. Yeah, you can catch the replay tomorrow. We're just, I gotta stop talking for a second and cut this out or I'll get it wrong. So this is what I've cut the top. I've cut that a quarter inch with just a smidgen more. And I lined all the lines on my ruler up, point to point, side to side, and up and down. And you can't go wrong if you do it that well. I guess technically you could go wrong, but you won't. <laughs> I won't let you. And it is nine inches that you end up at. Measure twice, cut once. I hope. So I have two sides trimmed, and now I'm going to trim the other two sides. So again, I'm going to line up points on all of them. Double check. Triple check. very precise with this. I'm so picky about the stuff. It has to line up perfectly or it would drive me crazy. Okay. There. So this is what I have. I'll catch up for a moment. Your cruise is in February. I couldn't remember. I'm, I'm terrible. I can't even keep track of what I am. Terry asks, what size is that ruler? This is eight and a half by 24, and I need to get a new one because I've caved out the side of it so much. But I bought it on, let me see, A-R-T-E-Z, I don't know, let me see. All I can do is upside down here, let me see. if I put something behind it if you can see the wording on it that's not going to work there you can see the brand there now Arteza I guess I like the ruler I really do it's it's probably my favorite one so far and I've I've had quite a few of them quite a few Kelly's going to be filming on her cruise. Hi, Judy. How are things in your neck of the woods? Judy is one of my subscribers who sent me two boxes of Happy Mail. And I was freaking out a week or so ago. I went to use some salvage edges that Judy had sent me. I could not find them. And I knew I had just had them. <laughs> I found them. 
And when I found them, I remembered where I had put them, but isn't that the way it goes? Terry says, I can go wrong, Marie. I can. Well, as long as you have confidence in yourself, Terry, that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, Nanny. You're not very late. It's very early in the morning. Hi, Javon. How are you doing, handsome boy? Do you have school today? Oh, no, it would be Saturday over there, right? Because it's Friday night here. It must be Saturday there. Excuse me. No school. No school for you, Javon. You can just bother Nanny all weekend, okay? Do a good job of it now. You have my permission. What's she going to do to me? <laughs> good, Judy. I'm glad you're doing good. Terry says, I don't have a ruler that size. I don't have a cutting area that size. Yeah, I remember when I first started off, I had one of those cutting mats that I had to keep slotting the fabric up because I didn't have, and I had a two inch by 12 inch ruler, and that's what I started with. All right, back to cutting. Or to pinning. This is what I have. All right, who hid? Adam, did you hide my black pieces? You did, didn't you? He was looking for sugar loaf. No, all right, I found them. I'm throwing them around. <laughs> so for anyone who wasn't here, we marked these. We folded them in half, exactly in half, and we ironed just a little bit to mark our centers so that they're easier to line up. Now before we put these next to each other. We would line the line on one to the line on the other, but now it's a little bit different. So let me see if I can explain this and show this. So this point right here is what you are putting this line against. So what I do is I have my line right there and I slide it up right there. And I'm going to put a pin there. I'm going to have to lay this down to do it right, but either way. Uh, and you just line your fabric up. And again, don't pull or tug because, again, this is on the diagonal, on the bias. You don't want to do that. So you pin your two opposite ends. I might have to repin that because I was looking down. Everyone else who might be new, this is the block. You probably saw it when uh, I put it as the, the thumbnail picture. Terry and Lisa are busy doing their work. Thank you, ladies. Adam, I hid them. You caught me there in the freezer. <laughs> Kelly says, my current quilting project is plugging away with big stitch hand quilting on the medallion quilt. That's going to be so gorgeous. Hey, Barbara, let's see. MDG might be Marshall Dry Goods. Yes, they sell 108 inch wide back. I didn't get a good look at the pattern you have. Okay, let me see. I don't know how well it's showing up across, because for me it doesn't look like it's very clear, but... I'm telling you, this fabric feels ritzy. It's very nice. Yeah, Adam, as if you don't know. As if you don't know. All right, I need to pin. To pin or not to pin? That is the question I always pin. So you, I always pin in the center first because then you know that part is even. And it was the Roadrunner that was beeping to answer the question. I guess I could turn this back now that I'm not at the sewing machine. Amy 
and to, when I fussy cut this fabric, this Lorelei Harris fabric, that was my first cut out of that new fabric that I bought at Martin's a couple of weeks ago. I hated to cut into it, but that's what we buy it for to cut into. Terry said she was going to sing so that every no one would be bored. Lisa's her backup singer and guitarist. We'd put Adam on drums, but then we'd never hear anything. Okay, so I have this pinned. I'm going to sew it again with quarter inch seam allowances. Make sure of where my chair is before I sit. Okay, I gotta scroll back. Nanny says we're lying on the bed watching our favorite YouTuber before starting our day. We slept in. Hey, everyone deserves to sleep in. And I'm your favorite. I'm Pat. <laughs> That's sweet. Adam, how's Susan? She's doing fine. She's spinning, turning, doing everything. She, I should say she's turning. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, for anyone that was here on that live, you'll know what we're talking about. Yes, Celeste, I bought from Marshall Dry Goods. They, they do have some awesome fabric. They really do. Yeah. Yeah, Terry, that's what I tell my, I used to tell my kids and I tell my grandkids. I love to sing. I, I'm just not very good at it. My granddaughter, she's seven and I used to try to sing to her. I'd be rocking her and singing to her and she'd put her little hand up on my mouth. Uh... Oh, goodness, Kelly, that sounds interesting. Yes, Lisa, Susan is with Dave. Did they let you in on their plans? How do you know this? No. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. <laughs> okay, I must stitch, because I've only got two more to sew after this, and the quilt block is done. Imagine that. I'm still thinking about that DNA from the, my blood on the quilt. I love that. That was pretty good. I'll have to remember that. I had a quick supper. Just had a wrap. Yum, yum. I went and put my ring on and my ring slid off. My, my spoon ring that I wear all the time, it just slides on and off like nothing. So I must have lost weight in my fingers, I, I guess. I didn't really know if that was a thing or not, but it, it must be. Yeah, when um, when we're all done, we're going to put them together. So I haven't decided on my sashing, although I think I might go with a gray or a blue. I, I don't know, possibly a gray. 
But once I get everything together, I will definitely post it. And I'm sure everyone will be posting theirs on the Facebook group. Are you on the Facebook group? Yeah, Lisa, we, we blame Adam. <laughs> but he'll take it. He understands. He knows he's the troublemaker. I think he enjoys being the troublemaker. <laughs> I must be, Terry. Because it's like my I lost 10 pounds and I haven't lost any more, but pants fit me differently and apparently today my ring fits me differently. She's not spinning at a considerable rate, Terry. She's a lazy one. <laughs> Kathy says, ha ha Marie, that's funny. Terry's telling Adam she's dying. OMG. I tell ya. You see why we keep him around. He's a barrel of laughs. That was so funny that you two cut that out. So for anyone not understanding what's, what's being talked about, Susan's and spinning. And uh, One night we were having a quilt along and we were talking about these lazy Susan cutting mats. I'm trying to think of what someone asked. But they used lazy, oh, they said, how big is your lazy Susan? And YouTube blocked it. They wouldn't let it come through because they thought it was a sexual con connotation. So since then, we have been having just a riot with this lazy Susan joke. And at the time, it was, it was just hilarious the way that happened because she was asking a very innocent question. And apparently the technology at YouTube thought she was saying something that she wasn't. <laughs> so. ran out of things to say. <gasps> Imagine that. My husband would say, what? That can't happen. <laughs> oh, I know what I can tell you guys. I went, uh, I don't like my new glasses. Like, I tried to like them. I thought I liked them, but I don't. Like, And they fall forward a lot. And I know that's usually an adjustment, but I think what it is is they're heavy here, heavier than what I'm used to. Either way, when you go through uh, Walmart Vision Center, uh, you have a 60-day guarantee. If you don't like them, you can either get your money back or you can get new, I think it's a new pair of glasses. But either way, I'm getting a new pair of glasses. So I went in there today and ordered a new pair. So they should be in within four or five business days. And I ordered some packaging today, like these kind of packaging things. I ordered some earth-friendly compo compostable ones. Okay, so that's where I am at right now. I'm going to line up the same as I did with those two. I'm going to line up that little line with the center of the point. <laughs> Adam goes back and watches it. Now Terry, <laughs> it was 17 inches. <laughs> Hope your room is not spinning. Thank you, Dolores. Mm -hmm. Finally found my password book. Now I can watch and relax. So that's a good. And then Dave was knocking. No one would let him in. Of course we wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah. If my room spins, it's due to Terry's bad influence. Well, of course. And that's because, yeah, that's right. He's not here, man. <laughs> okay, Terry, I don't wear my new $700. I'm wearing my $67 ones I bought online. Yikes, yeah. Avalie, yes, I am. I haven't got 
to sew because I stay in here with my husband, but I hope to get a few hours to sew soon and your blocks are the ones I want to do first. Well, you know, if you can, you know, work it in when you can, but I understand what you're saying. That has to come first. That definitely has to come first. So. All right, I am lining up. And pinning, and I lost a piece. Oh, Dave was hiding it on me. I know he was. Oh, I didn't trim my dog ears. I, I need to trim my little doggy ears. And for anyone not here at the beginning, the reason I chose this block was because of the variations. I'll explain that in just a moment. So on this one, I mean, I didn't use an exact plain fabric, but I could have. Now I could applique something on there. I could stitch something on there with my machine, or I could put like counted cross stitch fabric in there, cross stitch something. I could embroider something, or you can fussy cut something like this to put in the center so it gives everyone a choice let's see adam says i'm going for an eye test next week i've decided i'm going to go for the most clown-like madness frames i can find <laughs> okay terry my glasses yeah i figured you meant glasses 700 dollars or heavier i bet they do i bet they are i bet they are all right, I need to pin this on here, get this going. Tomorrow I'm, I'm going to be in my sewing room enjoying my Saturday. I went on uh, YouTube earlier and started catching up on comments because I was really behind, like a week behind on comments. And I'll probably work on that, well, until I finish it. I'll work on it either tonight or in the morning or a little of both. Because uh, in the morning when I get up, I am coming in the sewing room and I'm not going to have any social media on. Like, I'm not going to be chatting. I'm not going to be emailing. I'm going to take care of as much of that tonight and first thing in the morning, you know, before I get into the sewing room that I can because I get sidetracked very easily. And it's difficult because if I reply to one person, then I feel bad and I'm like, oh, well, if I did that, I have to reply to this person and that person. And you guys are always so understanding of things like that. So I don't know why I worry about it, but I tend to worry about it. So anyway, I'm going to do that because I'm working on that purse and I have a few things. I got an order for a couple of things that I need to make. They're just small things, but I need to work on those. All right, let's see. Kathy says, I love your fussy cut. Thanks, Marie. I gotta say goodbye. Well, bye-bye, Kathy. You have a great night and a fabulous rest of your weekend. And then Adam says, I will. This year I have decided I will wear and make to wear whatever makes me happy no matter how. It's all, I seriously, I think that is fabulous because seriously, if we're not happy, what's that saying you speak? If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. I worried for so long what people would think if I did this or said this or do, you know, whatever. I'm too old for that now. I don't care. So, you know. Bye, Kelly. You have a great night. Terry, it's a sampler because this whole, this whole quilt along is a sampler, a scrappy sampler. So every block is different and we'll put it together. And the thing is, is I want to see, we all are making the same blocks. So I want to see how different everyone's quilts are. I think it's going to be amazing to see. Yes, it is a good attitude. I agree, Lisa. Yep. His style is going to be hyperactive toddler on blue M&Ms. 
I can picture that and I can't wait to cheer you on my friend I can't wait Terry says I agree Adam for me I like when people back away and look concerned I'm doing me yep Nanny, I'm cutting myself off from technology when you're finished. I love the economy block. Yeah, sometimes I have to. Like, I have to or I don't get anything done. Okay, Honor, that's fine. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. If you have to catch the replay, that's fine. Everybody's got a life, <laughs> you know, but thank you for dropping in. Hi, Lukey, just catching, catching the end. Hope everyone has a great weekend. We hope you have a great weekend. Norma Jean says, I hate getting new glasses, but I had to get them last week. I always get headaches for about a week until I get used to them. My daughter says my new glasses make me look hip. That's cool. It's hip to be square. I won't sing. <laughs> Nanny says, especially fussy cut ones like yours. You're so sweet. Okay, I'm going to sew these last two pieces, and then I'm going to show you how to trim this block up, and we will be done. And that's almost like a record time for me. That's a lot of chatting, but it's a record time. So as I said in the beginning, there is a way to make your six and a half inch block for the center. Uh, and it looks the same as the outer part and I will give those measurements in the description box below the video after the live stream I will type those in there it's just more of the same you start with a smaller square and you go around it with triangles the same way as this Uh, Nanny, what you missed was uh, I was talking about bleeding on quilts and someone said that the blood on a quilt is, it's your DNA, it preserves your DNA in case the quilt's ever stolen. I love that. just keep going with the same method. The larger you get, the more you'd have to be careful of your bias. But you could just keep right on going. And I will press this and then we will take a look at what we've got and trim it up to size. Let's see. I've been trying to fix my washing machine. Goodness on her. Nothing like a small task there. You know. Aw, oh, Terry, that's so sweet. Putting Adam's link out there. I've got the best moderators. tonight. I slept pretty good last night for a change. I didn't the night before, so but last night was pretty good. Can't complain. I could. <laughs> but it's sleep. What are you going to do? Or lack thereof. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow I have to sew I have a tutorial to do for Sunday, and I want to work on my bag, so I will be closing myself in the sewing room. Ooh, I like the way this block turned out. The only problem that I could foresee with, my with this block is my fussy cut piece, the woman is, is going to be sideways on it, but to me that's not a deal breaker. So. I wasn't concerned. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of sizing on the edges, on the seams. Oh, 
almost done. I haven't heard from Jean in a while. She must be sewing, sewing, sewing. She was here with her fabric all cut earlier, so she was probably way ahead of me. black. I'm so glad I put that black on the edge. Okay, I gotta catch up. A crumb block center is a perfect idea, Nanny. You're so smart. Absolutely. That's okay, Susan. We understand. We understand. Sleep is an inconvenience. Yeah, it gets in the way of a perfectly good sewing time, doesn't it? Mac and cheese, homemade. Goodness, roast beef. Ah, uh, Jean can't wait to see it. So everyone who makes this, remember we want to see it on, on the Facebook group, even though I don't get on there every day. Sorry. <laughs> Terry says, sleep is a waste of time, but if I could only waste some time. Insomniac, yeah, that happens to me too. All right, so we're going to trim this up. And to do that, I am going to use my Lazy Susan. <laughs> my 17-inch Lazy Susan. No, it's not. It's a 12-inch Lazy Susan. 13-inch, excuse me. Excuse me. All right. And I have a 12 and a half inch block. And I am going to, oops, I'm going to line the points on my ruler up. I'm going to put the lines of my ruler so that they're even here and side to side. And that's to make sure that I get a 12 and a half inch block that's perfectly even. We don't want one that is not. So it takes a little bit of finagling and, and it should be just about a quarter inch out from your, your corner, your peaks there. And it is. Lazy Susan. She only works about once a week here, this girl. Other than that, she's lazy. She just lays around. Just moved it. There we go, a perfect 12 and a half inch block. I love the way this black outlined this. I really, really do. Because I figured I had the black there. I chose one of these that had at least some lavender purple to it. That was my goal with fussy cutting something. And then the black on the outside. So I'm happy with it. And I hope that you guys had fun making that block or watching me make that block. Okay, let me go back up. I got to where Jean said her block was beautiful and sleep was a waste of time. 
Jean says, used American fabric scraps, of course, wrong choice, is not so sure about our economy, right? <laughs> Adam, that's too funny. She's lying about her size again. Yes, she was. I'm trying to catfish. <laughs> nice too I love the way the black finished it off thank you Denise and Terry thank you Richard oh Richard's still here what is the girl fabric in the middle well this is some Lorelei Harris fabric that I bought and it's called curious tossed for Lorelei Harris and I have some other see this is the one I almost used was this Lorelei Harris fabric here but I would have had to uh, add on which would have been fine to piece the center block but I have some I love the edges and stuff on her fabric. Sorry, I can't hold that up. I can't hold my arm up. Thank you, Honor. I know, Terry. Seriously. <laughs> Girls gotta do. Thank you, Carol. Well, everyone, this has been really fun. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. And remember, I'm going to go edit the description box and I'm going to show, tell you the measurements so that if you don't want to use this block in the center, you can do this kind of thing right from the beginning, from a small, I think it's like three, three and a half, something like that, outward. You can just keep doing these. Where did I get the fabric? The Lorelei? Well, some of it I bought at Martin's and some of it I bought on a Facebook de-stash group. But if you look up Lorelei Harris fabric, um, you can find it almost anywhere. Because I know I looked online. Uh, I want to say Joann's has it, but I don't really know that because I don't shop at Joann's. So this one is called Medley So Curious. Whoops, hold on. Medley So Curious panel. And I can hold this up. I bought two yards of this, so there's there's two sections of it. Oh, I got it upside down. It was right side to me. <laughs> anyway, this is what it looks like. And I love Lorelei Harris fabric. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I, it, I just do. It's vibrant, bright. I, I just love it. Lisa, your husband's confused. I bet he is. Thank you, Lucy. Yo, Patty says she loves Lorelei fabrics, especially the sewing themes. Me too. And I'm just starting to buy her fabric. I've never had any until about six months ago. And I love it. So I'm looking for it everywhere. The She Who Sews line. Yes, I've seen that. Yes, I have seen that. That is beautiful. Adam just woke hubby up laughing. Did he throw something at you? <laughs> You're welcome, Elena. Give you a snack. Why waste a good wake up? We have some good thinkers here in this group, I tell you. <laughs> don't think that would go down well. He wasn't impressed. <laughs> Tell him it was my fault, Adam. <laughs> I do too, Terry. I think it's beautiful fabric. I do. 
All right, everyone, I hate to say it's time to go and leave such a good group of people when we're having so much fun, but it is time for this chickie to say good night. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you Sunday morning at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a tutorial. And until then, have fun sewing. Enjoy your day tomorrow. And remember, be kind out there. The world needs more of that. Thank you to everyone for hanging out with me.